CDM or Programming Development Manager is a part of IBM's application development tool set for the AS400 providing such functions as copying files, moving objects from one library to another, editing using SEU, compiling database files and HLL programs, displaying the contents of a library and performing other typical application development tasks. You can start a PDM session with one of these commands. Start PDM. Work with libraries using PDM. Work with objects using PDM. Work with members using PDM. The start PDM command can be given from any AS400 command line and it displays the PDM main menu with these options. Option 1 is the same as the work with libraries PDM command. Option 2 is the same as work with objects PDM command. Option 3 is the same as work with members PDM command. Option 9 is for setting various PDM options. Select option 1 for working with libraries using PDM. On pressing the enter key, the specify libraries to work with screen is displayed and you enter app star to work with libraries that begin with app. You can enter any one of the special values for library name such as star all for all libraries, star libl for all libraries in the jobs library list, star allusr for all user libraries that is non-IBM libraries on the system, star usrlibl for all libraries in the user portion of the jobs library list, star currlib for the current library. You can also type the command work with libraries pdm with app star specified for the library parameter on any command line to display list of libraries starting with app. On pressing enter key the work with library screen will be displayed with the list type as app star. The position to input field lets you position the list starting at a specified library. You can enter any option next to the library name to perform a particular function. Select option 2 from the PDM main menu and press the enter key to select the work with objects option. Here you can enter the library name, object name and type. When you press the enter key, the work with objects using PDM screen appears with a list of selected objects. The third option on the main PDM menu is working with members using PDM that lets you access file members. Select this option and press the enter key. The specify members to work with screen is displayed. Here you can enter the source file name, library name, member name and its type. Enter QDDSSRC for source file name, CUSLIB for library and CUSDEC98 for member name. On pressing the enter key, the work with members using PDM display is shown with a list of all specified members. Here you have a number of options for working with members such as to edit a member, to copy, rename and delete members etc. To add a new member to the file you have the F6 function key. Pressing the F6 function key takes us to the SEU editing screen. The source entry utility SEU is an editor that lets you modify DDS, HLL, SQL and other source codes. You can also start SEU by typing start SEU on any AS400 command line. On pressing the enter key, you will be prompted for the source file name. 
library name and source member name. This brings us to the SEU editing screen. Now let us type in some code. On the extreme left side of the screen you have the sequence numbers that are generated automatically by the system. To move a line enter an M for move in the sequence number column of the line to be moved and then place an A for after on the line after which the line is to be moved and then press the enter key. As you can see the sequence numbers are changed automatically after moving the line. You can also move lines to appear before a line by specifying B instead of A for the target location. You have other different types of line commands such as C for copying a line to another location and D to delete a line. Enter C on a line and place an A for after on the line after which the line is to be copied and then press the enter key. You can delete a line by placing D on that line and pressing enter key. To move a block of several lines from one location to another location, place MM on the first and last lines in the block and an A for after or B for before on the line after or before which we want to move the set of lines. Press the enter key. SEU moves all the lines between the two lines containing MM to the new location. Similarly, a block of several lines can be copied or deleted by using CC block or DD block respectively. The insert line command is used to add a new line. SEU inserts an empty line to enter the new source statement. To insert file lines after a particular line, enter I5 on the line after which the lines are to be inserted. SEU inserts 5 empty lines. Next we move on to the SEU command line. The SEU command line is where you can enter various editing commands such as find, change, save, cancel and set. You include the search string in single quotes with the find command. Also, you can specify star ERR with the find command to find syntax errors in a compile listing spool file. You can use the change command to replace one string with another string. You can also include the all option with the change command to replace all matches in a single operation. The B or bottom command positions the source member so that the last line is displayed at the bottom of the editing area. You can use the T or top command to position the cursor to the first line of a source member. You can use the save command on the SEU command line to save changes you have made to the current source member. You can use the cancel command to exit from SEU without saving your work. You can also use the cancel command on the bottom portion of a split screen display to remove the split screen. The set caps off command lets you enter uppercase and lowercase source. The set caps on command converts all input to uppercase. The set roll command sets the number of lines to scroll backward or forward when the page up or page down keys are pressed. The set roll full command indicates that a full screen of lines should be scrolled. The set roll file command scrolls five lines. At the bottom of the SEU edit display is a partial list of valid function keys. Let us look at the function keys. The function key F1 provides additional information or help for the field where the cursor is placed. The F3 function key exits from the SEU. 
the f4 prompt key prompts for a statement the type of prompt that will be displayed depends on the type of the source member that you are creating and is especially useful when entering position sensitive code the f5 key refreshes the edit display removing any changes made since the enter key was last pressed the f6 function key is used to remove the split line the f9 retrieve key retrieves the previous seu command entered on a command line the f10 cursor key switches from the editing mode to the command mode and positions the cursor on the command line this is toggle key the entire seu screen from left to right cannot be viewed at one time the f11 function key is a toggle key that lets you shift the view between the left and right parts of the source lines the f13 key is for find change option that allows you to search for strings and optionally also replace it the f15 key provides browse copy options that let us browse other source members or spool files You can also copy lines from the member being browsed by making the lines to be copied in the sequence number column. In the member being edited, you specify an A or B at the location T which you want to copy. The F16 key provides a repeat find option that repeats the last find operation. The F17 key for repeat change repeats the last change operation the f20 key shifts the editing area to the right the f19 key shifts the editing area to the left let us now see how to save the changes and exit from seu you press the function key f3 to exit from the current editing screen to the exit display you enter a y in the change create member option to save editing changes this is the default if you do not want to save the editing session you can enter n here you specify the member file and library to which you want to save the member You can also specify a descriptive text for the member being saved. The resequence member option lets you specify that the member is to be resequenced. You can also specify a starting sequence number. The print member option lets you to print the contents of the member to a spool file. The return to editing option lets you return to the editing session irrespective of whether the previous changes are saved or not the go to member list option shows the work with members display summary in this chapter we looked at two of the adts utilities pdm and seu we looked at different commands to start pdm and we also saw the pdm menu we looked at the seu editor and studied the various editing commands and finally we saw how to exit from seu